Hello. Um, okay, so here's something which I hope you find quite cool. I found it quite cool. Um, yesterday I discovered that there is a hex code which will return transparent. Now, I'm sure a lot of people already knew this. I did not. So I immediately started thinking that could be helpful somehow in Power BI. Um, I didn't know how, but I was trying to work it in there. And I think I've come up with something. So I want to show you how I've done that. So first of all, I've created a really tiny measure. And that tiny measure I've called transparent, because that's what we're working with here. So my measure is if is filtered. I use is filtered somewhat often because it's very helpful. And um, yeah, so I've used it here. If is filtered. So if the column name from table prev, prev for previous in this case, is filtered, then return the hex code this, which is basically eight zeros. Now, there are other hex codes which will return transparent, um, but this one does as well. If it is not filtered, then return this hex code. Now this one I've chosen because it fits in with the background of my report. You don't have to, you can choose whatever you want. So I could just go um, like that. And that will give me this very delightful, very tasteful yellow. Um, so yes, you can choose whatever you want. I've just gone for the, the threes. So what's that gonna do? What can I, I've created the measure, but what can I use it for? And what I came up with was this. Um, I don't particularly like how this um, visualization type here, this visualization, or and a couple of others look when you use a slicer. So if I were to click on a value here, you just get that one long bar, and it doesn't really look great. You can have, you can switch off that interaction. Sure, you can, but I want to try and improve upon that. And this is how I did it. So as you saw before, when I changed this hex code, the background changed color. So it's pretty clear how I did that. As you know, you can use conditional formatting. So I've gone to my background and I've used it here, as you can see. And I have selected the conditional formatting format by field value. And the field value is transparent. That's the measure that we just created before. Okay, so now what should happen is when I click on the name of a player, the background to my visualization should become transparent. And when it does so, you'll be able to see what else I did. And that's what I did. This is of course, a completely different visualization, but it's, first of all, it's behind the other visualization and it can't be seen because this visualization here isn't transparent until I click on my slicer. So I have given myself the possibility to use a slicer to reveal more data which I find very helpful. Now, I understand we don't want to crowd our reports, report pages with lots of visualizations for loading times, etc. But I think for one or two, or certainly when you have few visualizations on a page and you can use it just to add a bit of information and allow the user to see a little bit more, I think it's quite cool. I think it works pretty well, to be honest. And what I like is that you have, of course, you know, the name of the player, you've got the, in this case, the, um, total points across the season. And then you have it broken down here by game week. So that's kind of like revealing more data. You're, you're giving a separate insight once you've applied your slicer value. Um, and of course, because I have it here with a border on the top visualization and the shadow, it kind of looks like it's all part of one thing. You know, you could essentially, you could also, you know, argue you could add more data. Maybe that's too much. But that's the idea that I went for, and I quite like how I like how it um, it worked out. Um, so, what would be cool is that if someone looks at this and says, "Oh yeah, okay," um, 
I can come up with a different, maybe better use case. If you do so, please let me know because I'm quite curious as to where this can be taken, the things that we can um, do with this particular um, measure, this transparent uh, value. I did try to put it as the background to like a tooltip page. So you could have perhaps like a, but of course you can't have page backgrounds based on uh, conditional formatting at this point. It's only um, yeah, visualization and certain colors within data. Um, and because you can only use this particular hex code inside the measure, you can't actually type it in here. For example, you can't click there and type in your, um, your, your hex code for, cause it only takes the six values and this one's eight. Um, but there's a lot that can be done with it. I, um, I did that. I hope you like it. I hope it, um, maybe kind of springboards off into, um, other directions. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you do with it. And, um, thank you very much and, and goodbye.